uh, my dad told me when I was young, he's like, because uh, uh, he watched Muhammad Ali get beat up by uh, Larry Holmes, who, who was great. Yeah. And he's like, and I used to always ask him, I was like, I want to watch that fight. He's like, no, you don't want to watch it. And I was like, why not? Like Larry Holmes. But he's like, if you're an Ali fan, that was one of you the saddest days of your life. And so taking that, you know, I've, I've thought about that, just what, what he said years and years and years ago to this with Ric Flair. I was like, nope, not watching. I don't care how good that show is. The undercard looked tremendous. I'm not watching. I don't want anything to do with it because I don't want that imprint on my brain, you know, about Ric Flair. I want the imprint that I currently have as a wrestler, obviously, yeah. about Ric Flair. What, so what did you think? Give me your your uh, your synopsis here before we get out of here. Let me tell you, Larry Holmes did beat Muhammad Ali, but yes, Muhammad Ali got his revenge at the end by sicking Mike Tyson on him. <laughs> <laughs> January 22nd, 1988, Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. All right, this was his revenge. Muhammad Ali finally got it. He was there. He was at ringside, right? Yeah. What did he say? I he think said so. something to Ali. I forgot what it was. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that is my favorite era of boxing, 1980s to, to like late 90s boxing. That, that 15 years of, of heavyweight boxing was everything to me. If it continued, I'd probably be doing a boxing podcast. I'm not even exaggerating here. Um, uh, however, Ric Flair, yes, I was excited for the show. I wasn't one of these detractors of the pay-per-view that was bashing it and saying like, this shouldn't happen. Uh, I, you know, I know Conrad, uh, not really well, but I know him pretty good. I've had him on the show. We've spoken uh, numerous, you know, I talked to the guy, mm -hmm. uh, or have talked to him. I, I don't think he would ever put his father-in-law's life at risk if he truly believed that there was a major, major problem here. However, this was not the same Ric Flair that walked in into that match that we saw in those uh, training videos. Those videos. Those videos made him look... When I saw those, I, I thought to myself, my God, he he's... Obviously, he's older, but he's taking suplexes. He's, you know, able to go off the rope. He's able to, he's, he's able to get up when he falls to the ground. This was a very different Ric Flair than those videos. Uh... I think, you know, I'm I'm happy for him and I'm happy that he was able to close this and he didn't have that doubt about doing it one last time. He got it. It's done. I was, I'm going to curse. Can I curse? I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to censor myself. I was effing terrified at the end. <laughs> I, I, did you see that part? Okay. Andrade was doing his best to put on a smile and be like, no, 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 he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. You know, when I fell and I fractured my shoulder, and I couldn't, I, uh, and I could uh, uh, separate my shoulder and I couldn't lift it up. Everybody was like, no, 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 he's fine. He's fine. He's just, no, <laughs> I could see it. That's a lie. That's a lie. Andrade was not confident in what he was saying. Flair looked at him. I think he said something like I passed out or yeah, he couldn't yeah. get the, I mean, if the, he was working, he couldn't get the, 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 uh, the, the knucks. Why do I keep going? The knuckles, brass knuckles. I kept saying nun, nun, nunchucks. It's not a nunchuck. <laughs> he couldn't, and he, his hand is shaking, and he had to move it to the other hand. I was like, wow, okay. Either he's the greatest worker or he's going through something here. Yeah. Uh, but he put on that figure four, and he didn't get up. He didn't get up after that suplex. He took a, he took it like a, it was a delayed vertical. I mean, as delayed as, as they could do with Rick up there. Mm -hmm. But it was somewhat of a delayed vertical, and he just never got up. It... it <sighs> People were comparing this to, to Vince at WrestleMania. Vince was walking around like Shawn Michaels in his peak compared to, <laughs> compared to Rick. Uh, and no knock at Rick at all. All the respect in the world. I, I'm glad he got it out of his system. But I tweeted, I never want to see this again. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I mean that with all the love and all the, all the, uh, all the uh, just admiration I have for professional wrestling. I just never want to see that man have another wrestling match ever again. I think he got the send off he wanted. I think uh, Crockett, you know, they, Crockett, they they brought it back. Uh, Andrade got the team with his father in law, uh, the greatest wrestler of all time, uh, arguably. Uh, I I think for all involved, they should be very content with what they got and never do another Ric Flair match. All right, you hear you heard it from Andrew with the final word on the Ric Flair last match. 